coach welcome back to a new video so most of you who follow me on Instagram know that I am a professional golf trick shot artist and for me that started with juggling the golf ball and I've gotten so many direct messages and comments asking questions about how to do certain tricks so I wanted to kick off a new series on how to juggle a golf ball so in this first episode we're gonna start small we're gonna cover all of the basics to juggling just how to juggle a ball in between the legs stalling the ball in the club face and maybe even stalling it on the top of the golf club on the sole but I just want to make sure that we're covering everything for everybody of all skills level some of you might already know how to juggle a ball do a couple tricks in between the legs stall it things like that but for those of you that don't we will cover the basics in this video and then as we go on we will progress and start learning some more of those advanced tricks that you might have seen on my Instagram so first let's start with simply juggling the golf ball so first you're obviously gonna want to grab a wedge it can be a 56 degree it could be a 60 degree anything in between I think those all work pretty well anything below a 56 degree some of the tricks might become more difficult the less loft that you have now let's talk about the grip really pretty standard I'm kind of just gripping it as I would on a normal golf swing thumbs on top of the grip so the thumb should be pointing back at me I like to grip it really low so my thumb will be kind of on the edge of the grip here that gives you a lot more control over the golf club and the club face all right now let's start juggling the first thing you got to make sure of is the way you're holding the club creates a level club face right so this needs to be level that's going to ensure that the ball is bouncing straight up and down not left right forwards or back towards you then as i'm juggling i also like to have my eyes positioned over the ball I think that's that's a good tip for beginners. It just can kind of help them line up the club when it hits the ball. Once you get a little bit more advanced, you'll obviously get a little bit more feel and you'll be able to kind of use the club as an extension of your arm and you'll be able to juggle without your eyes necessarily being over the ball. I think the muscles that you want to use for juggling, a lot of people get confused. They kind of lift their arm up or they use too much wrist, wrist hinge. It's really almost just like a, a, a firm grip with a slight flex in the bicep. You don't need a lot if you do hit the ball in the center of the club face it's going to bounce up higher so try to aim for the center of the club face if you hit it off the toe or the heel it's just going to kind of hit dead and fall off so once you get comfortable with juggling the ball you can start moving into some other tricks i think the easiest trick to dive into after that would be juggling in between the legs it's really very simple you're not really moving your arm too much it's just standard juggling you're just lifting your leg over the golf club so it's a simple lift of the leg the club kind of stays where it is and then once you're done juggling in between your leg, you just lift the leg back over. Now, make sure you're popping the ball up high enough to give yourself a little time to lift the leg over. Obviously, if you don't juggle it high enough, the ball will hit your leg or uh, you just won't simply have time to kind of get back in the groove of things and start juggling. So pretty fun trick. Like I said, just work on lifting that leg up and over uh, and then same thing on the way back. And then there you go. You learned how to juggle in between the legs. Now we're going to get a little bit more advanced. We're going to talk about some of the tricks that you need to have in your bag if you really want to start working on some of the tougher stuff and putting some combos together. So we're going to talk about stalling the golf ball. I think it's one of the most important skills that I have in order to set up other tricks and just really feel confident and able to control the golf ball. So the first thing I would recommend doing is kind of setting the club down in a level position and then placing the golf ball on the club. It might fall off a few times, it might take you a few tries to get this, but just place the ball on the golf club and get used to holding it from your juggling posture and kind of moving around a little bit. Walk around, get comfortable with that ball being on there, put yourself in difficult situations, you know, wiggle the club a little bit, move your arm a little bit, things like that and just get really comfortable keeping that golf ball on the club face. From there, you can kind of start working on lifting it up and down a little bit. Work it up and down. Don't let the ball come off the club face just yet. Just get comfortable with an up and down motion. And then from there, you can start to create some separation with the ball and the club face and work on really trying to take the momentum out of the golf ball as you come back down to your level resting position. Once you get comfortable with that, start taking the ball in your hand, throwing it out, and then catching it with the club. I think that's a really good way to work on taking the momentum out of the ball. You might not get it at first try. This, this honestly took me so long to learn, but once you get it, it, it's just like second nature. So before you know it, you'll be a pro at this. All right, so now now that you've learned that trick, you can start creating some combos from the stall. So now we're going to talk about stalling the ball on the back flange here, on the sole of the golf club, right? This trick is the one I get DM'd the most about. I get asked how I do this all the time. And honestly, it's one of the easiest tricks I know how to do. It's so second nature, it takes no effort anymore. 
but it really was one of the hardest things for me to learn how to do. So the first thing you wanna do is similar to what we did with learning to stall the ball. You wanna hold the club in a level position and place the golf ball on the top and just get used to holding it there. Make sure it's not rolling off to the left, right, forward, backwards. Just get used to holding it on there. Walk around a little bit while holding the golf ball on this flange. Next, what I want you to do is put the golf ball in the pocket and start working on bringing the club up from the ground to a level position. You don't need a ball, like I said, just work on bringing the club up from the ground to a level position over and over. Get used to that motion. That motion is gonna be key. Then from there, bring the club down, bring it up to a level position, put a ball on it, and just check to make sure that you are in fact level. The next step is to work on bringing the ball up high enough so that you are in fact able to land it on the uh, flange here. So I recommend doing this from a stall when you're learning. It's just so much easier to set up tricks from a stall. You'll see me do that in so many videos. Doing it from a bounce, it's just really hard to judge the height the height of it, it's really hard to judge the direction as well, so learning from a stall. So just work on popping the ball up a few times, get it at about eye level, even a little bit above, and, and try to you know get it in a consistent spot so that you can start working on the trick, and that's what's gonna be next. So once you're comfortable popping that ball up in a, in a consistent spot, then we're just gonna go right at trying to catch the ball in that level position. Again, you're really gonna have to try and suck the momentum out of this ball, so I, I like to bring the club up to the ball and then just kind of follow it down and hold it in my level spot. It's gonna be so tough, guys. Like, I'm telling you, these tips are exactly what you need to know, but you gotta take it and you gotta put some time in. I put so much time into learning how to uh, do this trick, but once you get it, it's just a really cool little party trick to have, little trick on the first tee or on the practice green that'll uh, turn some heads for sure. So dial that in, work on it. Once you put the time in, you'll get it and it'll all pay off. Now, once you've uh, learned all of these basic tricks that I've taught you guys so far in this video, you can start to put some combos together, just like this one here, you know? Little juggle in between the legs, couple stalls, stalls in between the legs and then uh, bring it up, hold it up on the top, and maybe try to hit one out of the air. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. I hope to see some of you guys out there uh, filming some trick shots, some juggle videos, putting them up on the gram. Be sure to tag me, hashtag Coach Rusty, or just at me, and I'd love to check them out and see how you're progressing. On our next video, we're gonna talk about some more advanced tricks, some different stalls, some different combos, maybe flipping the golf club. I think this will probably be a five-part series. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll live well on here and help a bunch of people out to make some uh, cool golf trick shot videos. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. What?